What type of impact did you leave? What they gonna say about you? Nobody wanna be bothered with Glenville right now. So they still believe that you can't get it done. Keep all the distractions away. We gotta focus on where we're trying to go. So we're trying to accomplish something that's never happened here in the city of Cleveland or in this community. It wouldn't let me see the Julie. You got an opportunity to break history. Go work at it. Let me, let's go! Let's go, Black Shirt! We coming for state! Yeah! Let's go! You will shock the world. A lot of people that is rooting for us as a team to bring history back to Cleveland. You understand? We have no doubt. We've been in this thing for 11 to 12 months, you know, so we just got to go and finish it out. And, it's, and we're going to get that done, all right? One, two! Everything, man. I just feel excited, you know? Yeah, you think you're prepared? Oh, of course. I know we can't tell. Two number one right corners in the state. Win on three, three. One, two, three. Win! Power gets it away quickly and a good open field play. It's ball on the floor, or it's a fumble, and it's recovered by Jalen Carter for Glenville. Steps up throwing. Coverage is good. Oh, what a grab! Going up to get it and coming down with it is Demarion Witten, the tight end. Jones has room to Shante Jones. He's going to take it into the end zone. Deshante Jones puts the Tar Blooders up. 12-6. Rucker under center gives it to Jones into the end zone. Touchdown, Glenville, 18-6. Pressured again. Rose hit, picked yeah, off. Yeah, Intercepted. As making the interception is Arbel Reese. Levels had 8.2 yards per, per play, and that's just too much on that Miami defense. Here's another one. Jones into the end zone for the touchdown. What a run by Deshante Jones. Picked off. Nice job of reading it. That's Warren Bloodworth. Bloodworth still on his feet. Knocked down at the 40 yard line. Can't say it now. No, that's gone. Can't say it now. That is gone. Can't not say it. Take it toward the rings. There you go. <laughs> I can tell you that I'm too old for this. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? And the final seconds will tick away the Glenville Tar Blooders, the Division Four state champs in 2022. This feels like it was 25 years in the making, capturing the first state championship for a Cleveland public school program. Can you put into words what this moment is like for you? Well, you know, it, it's, it's uh, words really can't explain how I feel. You know, I'm just thankful that we could bring something to the city of Cleveland and to our communities, to our school system. So many people have tried it for so many years. You can see a lot of the community came out and supported you and your team tonight. What does this win do for the program? <laughs> It means that we can achieve greatness, you know, for our town, our city, our kids, our community. Uh, you know, it's hard for me to really explain and talk. 
because there's so many people before me tried it and to see, you know. But, you know, now we can prove that we're great. And our city should be proud of these young people here, you know what I'm saying? You know, so it's, it's so much, you know, so many things going through my mind. Uh, you know, thank God, you know what I'm saying? I always said, if God ain't in it, you can't win it, you know, and he's been with us all the way. So it's huge.